The innovation process begins with discovery, but it takes hardworking teams within our businesses to turn an idea into reality that makes life better for people in Arizona, across the United States, and around the world. I'm Sandra Watson, President and CEO of the Arizona Commerce Authority and a member of the AZ Bio Board of Directors. Under Governor Ducey's leadership, the Arizona Commerce Authority is at the forefront of statewide economic development. We use a three-pronged approach to create new opportunities for Arizonans, attract out-of-state companies to expand in our state, helping existing Arizona companies expand their operations and create new jobs, and partner with entrepreneurs to create new businesses and commercialize new technologies. It is my pleasure to introduce you to three inspiring Arizona businesses that are making a difference at the crossroads of business and science. The first is Fabric, a Tempe-based incubator that rapidly pivoted during the pandemic. Fabric is a fashion incubator, it's a business accelerator, it's a design studio, it's an academy, and it's a manufacturer all rolled into one. We're sustainably reinventing, disrupting, reshoring the fashion industry for the modern apparel entrepreneur. So we basically offer everything under one roof that an entrepreneur would need in order to create a sewn product here domestically and get it to market. We came up with the idea to make FDA approved reusable isolation gowns as a reaction to the effect that COVID-19 was having on our fashion incubator. All of the clients we served were non-essential. The main revenue sources for the incubator were non-essential like events and renting out the spaces in a maker space. All of those things involve a lot of people in tight tight areas, which just isn't safe. We knew we had the expertise to source, design, and develop a gown. It was then working on getting the FDA approval that we tackled next. When the pandemic hit and we wanted to pivot and start making reusable isolation gowns and mitigate the PPE shortage, we had a lot of amazing support. It started with AZ Bio actually coming together and kind of helping connect the dots and help us put the word out there in the form of a GoFundMe. And eventually, over the months that we've been doing this, nine different organizations have come together to support our efforts and contribute to us being able to acquire all the equipment and FDA certification and ramp up our efforts in our building to be able to mitigate the PPE shortage. So it was a community effort. Getting FDA certification so we could ramp up production was and is still the biggest obstacle that we have, but it required first applying to become an FDA registered um, entity. Then you need to actually submit all of the requirements the FDA has for level two and three gowns. You also need to have a manufacturing environment that meets those standards as well. We continue to work on training and up the bar on what we need to do to make sure that these FDA gowns that we're providing to our local healthcare professionals are the safest and most effective they can possibly be. Since COVID-19, our mission hasn't really changed. It's just been added on to. So we're still helping apparel entrepreneurs with all the design and development and no minimum manufacturing of their products. But in addition to helping apparel entrepreneurs make niche products in small quantities, we're also making hundreds of thousands of reusable isolation gowns as a high capacity factory on top of the fashion incubator model. So we've helped almost 500 brands go from idea to production, and then they were growing, which was our goal, and we'd have to send them out of state because we did not have the high capacity expertise or equipment to be able to make large orders. Because of the urgency in being able to make so many gowns so quickly, we now have the capacity and expertise to help our brands. And it really helps us fulfill the mission of our foundation, which was to sustainably grow Arizona's fashion industry. Our goal was always to provide a 21st century manufacturing solution, which wasn't at the cost of people or planet, which is what's happening overseas, be able to manufacture here in Arizona sustainably, responsibly, and help grow the industry. And this whole process has really allowed us to create a brand name that can help us with the capital cost to support more entrepreneurs and the capacity to be able to also help them 
grow their businesses right here in the state.